Kim F2033 and I'm from DLS Forest. The market forces like size of market, geographical concentration of potential customers and quantity demand affect the decision to choose channel of distribution. If the market size is small and buyer are concentrated in the particular region, then companies may choose short channel for distributing their product. On the other hand, company dealing in consumer product will have a larger market size with consumers scattered over a wide geographical area. In such cases, they need to supply goods at the convenience of their customers. Those may adopt longer channel of distribution and have more number of intermediaries. Second is product. Nature of product is an important factor in deciding channel of distribution. Consumer products are usually standardized, less expensive, and non-technical have larger number of buyers separate over wide geographical area will require wider network of channel involving many middlemen to sell and distribute product. On the other hand, industrial products are technical, expensive, usually customized as per customer's demand. If a lesser number of buyers, those will require personal or indirect selling with short channel involving fewer middlemen. Perishable goods need to be sold faster, thus will adopt short channel of distribution. Third is competitive factor. The decision to choose channel of distribution is affected by the channel adopted by competitors in the same industry. It is the company policy which decided whether to go with the competitor or different from them. A company may choose to adopt the similar channels of distribution which are used by other business concerns in the same industry or may use different channels to be different from other firms. For example, some firms may choose the selling through retail shop where other manufacturers are also selling the product whereas other may choose different channel like door-to-door -door selling. Finally, company factors. This is another factor in deciding the channels of distribution is the company's financial strength and its decision to share the degree of control with its channel partners. To sell product through direct selling, company will require huge investment to open their retail outlet and employ a large workforce to sell its product. On the other hand, indirect selling require intermediaries to sell products. Those if a company has enough found and prefer to retain control with the management may opt for direct selling. And if company has lesser found to invest and is willing to share control with its channel partners may for indirect selling.